Congratulations on your new little buddy. In this video, we are going to walk you through the initial setup and important components. Please follow along. First, we are going to fill little buddy with water. We are going to prepare the five foot water supply hose. With the five foot hose in hand, remove the 30 PSI regulator, quick connect adapter from the water supply hose itself and connect it to a standard three quarter GHD outlet keeping the water supply off. Next, connect the five foot hose to the mating male auto shutoff fitting on the fresh water tank. Turn the water supply on and fill with warm water. Once the fresh water tank reaches the auto shutoff level, disconnect. Disconnect the hose from the water supply and depress the check valve inside the female CPC fitting, breaking the vacuum, allowing the hose to drain into the sanitizing sink. We will now prime the water pump. Using the same five foot water supply hose, connect the male fitting to the plumbing assembly quick connect and the opposite end to the manual fitting. Turn on the power station and allow the pump to run for 15 seconds. This will prime the pump. Once the 15 seconds has elapsed, turn off the power station. Use the wand to relieve the water pressure from the system. Next, disconnect the five foot hose from the plumbing assembly quick connect, keeping raised to allow residual water to work its way back to the tank before disconnecting. Once again, Using your finger, open the check valve in the female CPC fitting and allow the hose to drain into the sanitizing sink before sewing. Next, we will assemble the waste tote. Reposition the handle to the handle docking station, only inserting the pin halfway to keep the handle in place. When removing the waste tank, use both hands picking up from the top of the wheels while lifting straight up. Remove the waste funnel adapter and position the waste tote on the ground and connect the handle accordingly. Remove the waste cover and install the funnel adapter. Next, open the expandable workspace. First, gather the wash bins and then open the expandable workspace, placing the wash bin, rinse bin, and complete bin, respectively. Reposition, if you have one, the hydrant system inside of Little Buddy for safekeeping. Remove the cap for the bypass supply hose from the waste funnel and attach the bypass supply hose. Next, do the same for the sanitizing sink drain hose. Secure the cap and plug to the little buddy for safekeeping. And finally, 
we will set up the three bay sink system. Turn off the power station and relieve the water pressure from the system by using the wand and dispensing directly into the sanitizing sink. Next, connect the 10 foot supply hose to the plumbing assembly quick connect. Connect the spray nozzle and turn on the power station and remove all of the air from the hose. Begin filling the rinse bin one third full. When completed, to make it easy and clean, when removing the spray nozzle, allow the nozzle to dispense into the sanitizing sink while disconnecting. Next, using the wand, fill the wash bin one third full. Reconnect the nozzle, have the nozzle in the spray position while connecting over the sink to make it easier. With the drain plug in position, fill the sink with water as shown. To prime the lines, pull the drain and walk the drain lines to the tank to get the air out of the hose while enabling the natural siphon. Sink will not drain correctly if not performed. For general cleaning, the wand can be repurposed as a faucet for the sanitizing sink. Secure the wand as shown. The tip can be rotated to change the fan spray pattern and the trigger can be locked into position for auto dispensing. When auto dispensing, be sure not to consume more water than required. Here is a simple example of how to use the expandable workspace and three bay sink. Be sure to dump the buckets in the sink, stack, and stow when done. Paper towels and wipes can be located at the handle of the cart. The Lex gallon can be attached to the wand metering assembly by rotating the gallon into position with a snug fit. Do not over tighten. We hope you found this introduction to your new little buddy, its features, and how to set it up helpful. Please refer to the manual for a more in-depth breakdown of the little buddy.